Welcome to the Beer Temple. I am Chris Quinn, and today I'm coming from you down in the dungeons of the store while people are up there happily buying beer. Um, I am down here uh, getting ready to taste uh, some beers that are actually open for tasting today. Somebody uh, brought them in for us to taste, and I apologize. Uh, I didn't get any information about uh, who dropped them off, and I wasn't at the shop at the time, but thanks to everybody who drops off beer here, as I, I always like to mention. Um, I would like to take a, a bit to say I'm, I'm sorry that, that shows have not been coming out as as often. Uh, I'm going to try to come up with a schedule and try to get a couple of these out a week. <coughs> I've said that many, many times recently. We'll see if it happens this time, but I'm committed to it and I want to make it happen. Anyway, uh, I've got a couple of sour or funky, rather, Modern Times beers here. Modern Times is a relatively new-ish brewery in San Diego, California. I had the pleasure of uh, visiting uh, them with, uh, I was on kind of a tour of, of some of the finest, estab uh, new establishments anyway in San Diego with Mike Sardina of Society Brewing and he took me to Modern Times and I got to meet the uh, owner there, uh, Jacob very nice guy and uh, I saw some barrels just kind of sitting around and this was a, uh, a little over a year ago and uh, he explained that he was working with um, a guy by the mic uh, by the name of uh, Michael Tons Tonsmeyer Tonsmeyer I believe the mad fermentationist uh, if you follow that blog really cool beer blog he also wrote the American Sours book and uh, was kind of working with these guys to help develop a sour program. And uh, I noticed that two of the um, uh, number one edition uh, bottlings of the sour stuff came into the store, so I thought it'd be cool to kind of try them for the first time uh, on camera. So why not? Uh, the first one is called the Mostly Brett Dancing Plague. I did not just pop this open with my finger. Like I said, these have been tasters, so you know there's only that much left in there. It has been open for most of the day, so it may be a little bit undercarbed. Um, but uh, let's see. Um, wow, pours a really, really, really light color, and it's funny. It says it gives the SRM, you know, the color information about it, the IBU, and the, the gravity. So it looks like it's bone dry and about as pale as a beer can get. So yeah, look at that. I mean, that's it's crazy it's almost like white um and uh it's a berliner weiss uh but it says here on the back that they have something like 12 different types of Britannomyces. some berliner weiss has zero types of Britannomyces. so this is kind of a funky brett as they would say traditional berliner weiss probably you know almost certainly had berliner weiss just from you know the realities of brewing back in the day you know they couldn't isolate um strains and stuff like that um, so anyway, uh, let's see. So has a, a bit of almost like a cidery nose to it. A little bit of a yogurty funk, uh, probably from the lactobacillus. A hint of like um, almost like juicy fruit bubble gum, you know, kind of like a um, yeah, like a like a mixed berry punch, but like on the tropical side of it. And a hint of almost like erasers. Just a just a f subtle hint. Mm. It's nice. It's quenching. At this point, it's been open for about five hours. It's almost completely still, which is not how you want the beer to ideally be. Um, but the flavor itself, really nice. Um, it's got uh, uh, almost like a um, like this earthy hay thing going on, and then a little bit of uh, like a lemony hint to it, followed by almost like some some lighter like green strawberry type thing too. Really good. Trop uh, flavor hibiscus, lemon zest, pineapple. I can totally see that. Strong wheat character, it says, too. Yeah, definitely, for sure. Um, solid beer, though. Yeah. Uh, funky Sour Berliner. Mostly Brett Dancing Plague. Interesting. Very cool. Uh, this next one is uh, the Funky Universal Friend with Pinot Noir Musk. So I think the Funky Universal Friend 
is a kind of a wine of beers they do and then they add different fruits to it uh, this is with uh, Pinot, so it's. Uh, I think the base is going to be uh, a Saison, uh, a little bit darker. I'm looking at the final gravity again, pretty bone dry. And what's it say here as well? I probably should just taste it before I even say that. So, pretty color, a little bit murky there, but um, almost looks again like a fruit punch or something. Very grapey. Again, I want, I'm thinking like Big League Chew here. But on top of that, you do get kind of some of that like acidity kind of hitting you, stinging your nose a little bit. Yeah, sour, but, but just lightly sour, really. Very juicy. Um, but but dry, so the flavor of juice without the sweetness of it. Um, it's got, uh, I know it's just the must, but I almost feel like I'm getting some of those tannins from the skin or something, which probably I'm not, but something in there, maybe um, some of the, the hoppiness or, or some of the, the slight bitterness perhaps uh, is almost giving it a, a tannic quality to it. Um, highly uh, kind of fruit grapey driven as well uh, although not kind of like a big jammy fruit um, like I said it, it's it's kind of like a dried out uh, fully fermented out grape juice um, and it doesn't have the body that a wine often does like a, like a, even like a Pinot Noir which can be be you know quite light in body uh, I'd say this is even even lower I mean this gravity is 10.00 or 1 point 10.04 uh, so really really stripped down um, solid though. I'll, I'll, I'll try it. Try it again. Interesting color. It's almost like a, a purple brown, right? Good. Be good with cheese, like a cheese plate, something like that. Fun, fun, fun. Yeah, really grapey in that finish. Two fun beers, guys. Uh, that's about it. Down, down and dirty. Uh, in case I had that, I, I just realized I probably had them way out of camera range. I don't have a viewfinder anymore that faces forward on the new camera. So, sorry about that, guys. Here are the beers we've been drinking. Uh, two of the uh, modern times, uh, kind of funky beers. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, thanks for dropping off your bottles. Um, one thing that I haven't mentioned in a while, but it does help the show a lot, is if you do appreciate what we uh, are, are putting on here, uh, you know, rate us on iTunes and give us a review or something like that, or just you know, tweet us out or use social media to tell someone about it, or just tell someone with your mouth. That's always a nice way to do it as well. Until next time, guys. Uh, I've got some great sour beers to drink and uh hopefully you do too cheers everyone <laughs>